Pirpa. Pirp. Is that is that how you pronounce it? Welcome. I'm Andrew Joseph Keith. I'm an artist, sculptor, and recently a YouTuber. So today I'm going to talk about somebody that is very successful as a YouTuber. Pirpa. We're going to talk about haters, appreciators, critics, and creators. You know it's going to be good because it rhymes. Why make this video? I am just interested in success. Whether you like to admit it or not, he is very successful at what he's done. He's built a huge fan base. He does well. He's been successful, and so that is something that I'm interested in. Honestly, I've only seen a few of his videos. So naturally, I am informed enough to say anything I want about any subject. That's the beauty of YouTube. You, no matter how misinformed you are about something, you can say whatever you want. Okay, so why is he so popular? One of the things that I've noticed from the videos that I've seen is that he seems to be really genuine. He seems to be genuinely genuine and honest about his response to haters, about his response to the media or whatever it is that he's talking about. He just seems to not be trying to put on this big facade or just do what he thinks people will like and appreciate. It doesn't seem like that's what he's going for. Interestingly enough, a lot of people that are trying to just find out those little things that will get them big don't find as much success as just him being genuine and putting out what he feels. Pretty interesting. He's really genuine. He's got a sense of humor. He isn't afraid to make light about situations, about haters. Another thing is he was the first of his kind. He was the pioneer and it's just a good idea. And you're like, why didn't I think of that? So he was the first kind of gamer, YouTuber, that kind of content creator. And it was a good idea, obviously. He does very well and there's thousands and maybe hundreds of thousands of others that are also doing YouTube videos about the same kind of content, but he was the first, so he wins. Let's talk about haters. I think a lot of the hater videos, they just make them to get views. So unlike me making this video, from, from most of what I've seen about any hater slash critic in general, usually, they're just trying to tear people down to build themselves up. They're trying to step on other people to climb their way up. We really should have learned by now that that doesn't really work. That's not a concept that's a, a real thing. Maybe it's worked to a degree for some people, but nobody becomes the best at anything by climbing on top of and stomping on other people and their ideas and their creations. Nobody becomes the best because of that. There's the the critics and the creators. The creators become successful. The critics complain about the creator's success. So what I've seen, for the most part, people that have a problem with his success, so many people these days, kind of the more socialist, it's becoming more, more prevalent, more, there's more entitlement, more saying, why are they so successful? That's not fair. That's not fair for them to be so successful, to have so much money or so much success, even if they worked for it, it's not fair. A society that punishes people for being successful won't be successful. That's just common sense. If we're so obsessed with breaking people down that are trying to be successful, trying to do something new, trying to do something creative and build their own success, then where are we going as a people? Can't we just appreciate and learn lessons from people that have been successful, apply them into our own lives to build our own success? Isn't that something that we can just try to do? So that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to be genuine in my videos. I'm trying to take these lessons from from all sorts of people that have found success and just just apply them instead of getting angry and saying it's not fair for them to be more successful than I am. The fact is you can learn something from everyone. You can learn something from everyone, even the haters. We can, they have their own lessons 
that we can learn from. It doesn't help anyone to try to stomp on other people to step your way up to find success. That's just the fact of the matter. So honestly, I'm not a I'm not a big fan. I don't follow a lot of his videos. I'm not subscribed to his content. The reason might be something that's silly for some people, but I just don't, uh, he just, he swears a lot. I just don't like that way of communicating. I don't think that's the best way to communicate. And I know it's so prevalent in everything. Here's the thing, <laughs> here's the thing. If that offends me, if I get offended by that, I just don't watch the videos. And that's something that, that is just another huge, just ridiculous thing that society is saying like that it's, for some reason it's the, it's the, these content creators responsibility not to offend us or just the people out in the street. But the fact is that you take offense. You don't give offense. You can try to give offense, but unless somebody takes it, then there's no transaction. There's no offense happening unless somebody takes it. So it is really more about the people that take offense and then try to just say, oh, they can't do that. They can't say that, but they can, you know, freedom of speech. The fact of the matter is people that get, get offended just don't watch that kind of content. Just control your own self and separate yourself from that content. If you don't like PewDiePie, boom, don't watch his stuff. But why search through his stuff and find all the things that you can hate on him and then make a video about that? Like what's, what's, what does that accomplish? What does that help? The point is we can learn something from everybody. If we don't like somebody's content, just don't participate in it. That's, that should be obvious. From the videos I've seen, I've, I like his genuine attitude. I like his sense of humor. I, there's just a couple cockroaches in the hot fudge sundae that I don't care for. So big deal. It's that's, that's fine, but I'm going to try to learn what I can from him and say, if he was the most successful person, how can I build success? Boom. So I want to be an appreciator and a creator. And I think everybody, to try to be that. Don't get frustrated with people that are successful. Don't get obsessed with millions that others are making. Just go out and try to be successful yourself. Go and do the incredibly hard journey of creating something from nothing that they, that they took. That's a, a journey that I'm on right now. It is painful and really frustrating, really frustrating. I'm just trying to find my way to success wherever it is. So it might be on YouTube, but it might be I love art. It might be in art. It might be in business. It might be in something else, but I will find success. I will find success because that's something that's important to me. I want to be financially successful. I want to be self-sufficient financially. I want to be successful as an artist. I want to create content that is of worth as a YouTuber. And I will take the lessons that that other people will give. Those are my thoughts. There is something to be learned from everyone. And don't be a hater. Be an appreciator. Learn what you can from something. And if you don't like something, there's nothing wrong with suggestions on changing. But when you're just trying to tear somebody down, it doesn't help anybody. It doesn't help you. It doesn't help them. We all have opinions. But my opinion is correct because it's mine. So try to convince me otherwise. <laughs>